Hi there, it's me again with another science experiment for you to do on your own and for us to figure out this thing about chlorophyll still. Chlorophyll, remember, is the green substance in plants. It helps them make their food in, photo in photosynthesis process. And so um, we're going to see if we can see what color a leaf truly is. Chlorophyll color covers up the leaf color. So all these green leaves out here that you see, it's possible that their true color is not green. Chlorophyll hides their color. And so in the fall, when we see the other colors come out, those are their true color before they die. So, so your I'm experiment today is going to be trying to separate the colors in leaves. And if you notice, I have collected different kinds of green leaves. I've collected this green leaf. This, these are vine maple. This, I don't know what it is, aspen, I think. This, I'm not sure. And this is a big leaf maple. So what I've already started to do is I have already started to start my experiment. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, I took two leaves and I crunched them up really good. Okay, I ripped them up and it's this, this is the one I'm doing right now. I found it on a tree in town. And so I'm getting these into small pieces and I'm putting them in a cup, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use alcohol and I'm going to pour the alcohol and you can get alcohol at the Dollar Tree for a dollar if you don't have any at home. And all I'm gonna do is cover the leaves that I got in there. You don't need a whole bunch. You just need to cover it up a little bit. So that's probably even too much. Then I'm going to put it into a bowl of hot water. And I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the end of this screwdriver because I couldn't figure out what else to use. And I'm going to now smash these leaves a little bit better. And I am using a plastic cup and I am hoping that this plastic cup is not going to melt in this hot water that I'm smashing these up. When I smash these up, I should be getting the chlorophyll color in the, wa in the rubbing alcohol that's in here. So rubbing alcohol is the only thing in here right now with these leaves, leaf pieces. And as you can see, it is getting green and I'll hold it up in just a second. They said to go ahead and leave it in the water for a little bit because it gets the leaves soft and pliable. So it is easier to smash that chlorophyll out of it. So I'm smashing the chlorophyll out of it. And I did get a green tint to my leaf water. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this strip of paper towel in it to where it only touches the very bottom kind of down here. Now they said you could use um, coffee filters, but when I used coffee filters on my experiment, my first one, it didn't do it very good. So I notice how I left this here. I'm going to let it just hang out in there and I'm going to put it over here with the leaf that I got it from. So then I'll know what one it is. And I'm going to do all of these and I'm going to leave them here. And you do have to leave them here sometimes for 24 hours because it took a long time before the color separated and they will start separating. And then once you're done, you'll look at it and you can take this out and you'll be able to see the different um, colors on it. Okay, so I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back and I now have gotten all my leaves done and I even thought to myself, hmm, an evergreen is supposed to be evergreen and so I'm going to, I did a green, I did some needles, I sent somebody across the street and what did they bring me back? Spruce, so boy, that was hard to get those things off because they're so pokey. But I got all my greens here and I had to tape my, because my glass is tall, I went ahead and taped my um, strip of 
paper towel up so it wouldn't fall in it. And now I'm just going to wait and I'm gonna wait for probably until tomorrow afternoon to see what is, what if, if anything is happening. And I already can say that the green is gonna separate first. So the first color that's gonna be on there will definitely be green because that's what's coming up first. But then the other colors should separate and it'll be on the paper towel when we get it done. So um, again, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So hopefully you will get yours ready. And again, the more variety you have, the better I think you're gonna um, see the colors separate. Have fun. Okay, so now after I have let all that dry up pretty much in my cups, and I waited, I have to admit, more than 24 hours. But if you can notice, this one right here, the it separated and we got yellow all the way up at the top. So the true color of this leaf would be yellow. This one, I am not 100% sure if this is gonna be a brown or yellowish. Here we have red. I don't have the leaf for that, but I think it's this one, whereas we're getting red here also. This one we're getting yellow. This one, again, I don't know what one of this was, but this was the needles. So I only it only separated out as green. And again, remember that um, needles hold on to their um, chlorophyll and stuff through the winter just because they don't make food and things like that. So, um, but this is separating out the colors of the leaves. So in reality, this true color of this leaf would be red if it was with the chlorophyll wasn't covering up the red color. This one would be definitely yellow if the chlorophyll was not coloring, covering up all of the yellow color with its green chloroplasts that are in there. So um, again, hopefully you um, found the same thing in a few different colors, kinds of green leaves. And again, make sure that you use green leaves off the tree. You can tell that this one has been off now, so it's done. So, thanks for watching my video. Goodbye. I decided to keep my cups just in case I might need them for another experiment. So I wiped all the green leaves and stuff out. And look at my rag because of it. Look at all that green chlorophyll that came out on the rag. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of those strips that I have here and I'm going to put them in my science journal, a few of them.